What is up, Bite Squad? Welcome back on another adventure. We've got the family out today. Got the two boys and the wife. And we are in the early stages of a prime chanterelle season. So we're gonna take a little walk through the woods and see what we can't find. Hopefully we find uh, a little pathway of gold. Right? Yeah. Chanterelle hunting? Yeah. Maybe, some, maybe we find some lobster mushrooms some chicken of the woods, some hedgehogs. It's kind of early for hedgehogs. I mean, it's also kind of early for the roads right there, sorry. So it's still kind of early for chanterelles even, but we've had a couple good rains. Temperatures are just right. So we're gonna duck in here in a little bit and see what we can't find. Don't go nowhere. So we've been walking through, we're definitely early in the season, but we've been walking through, scouring all over this place. Usually this place is a gold mine. You guys have seen previous episodes, but I just found my first chanterelle button. Perfect little button right here, babe. Look at, look at that little, look at that little cutie. That is my first chanterelle. What is it? What is it? A mushroom. A mushroom. Nice That's little chanterelle button. Go ahead and grab it, Soren. Careful. There you go. Look at that. The first chanterelle of the season. He looks happy. No, it's my turn. Yeah, they're going to be just popping through the pine needles. Yeah. You found one? So we're going to keep on the hunt for that. Maybe some will be poking out, but for the most part, I think the pine needles are going to be kind of covering a little bit. So when we see like a little tiny disturbance, we'll check it. This spot last year was just loaded with chanterelles. So we're definitely early. Plenty of time left. We got one, which he's got one. Let me see it. Nice. That's a good little button. Oh, Sage is on one. Let's see what Sage has. I'm coming. Sage got one. This one's a little bigger than a button, but it's still really nicely, nicely shaped chanterelle right there. All right, I'll cut it and you grab it, okay? That was my turn. See that beauty? Look under it. Yep, that that's my the, turn. That's the telltale sign of a chanterelle, the elongated gills. Awesome. Let's find some more. You know, early season picking is kind of funny because they're hard to find. I mean, we found two and we've been walking for a while now. Um, but when it's prime time, you don't even have to go that far to fill, you know, your gallon basket or whatever. Yeah. So we're just looking for a hidden treasure right now. It's a scavenger hunt. This is what it's all about. So it's so much fun. You found a mushroom? Anything good? All right. So we're not really seeing too much. We are definitely too early. We found those two, but we're not even seeing, you know, there's so many different kinds of mushrooms out here and we're not seeing any of them so we could just tell that the the water the water table is not quite ready yet so i am gonna pick up where i left off in the next couple weeks with this episode and uh hopefully it's gonna be more fire than it is today so with that being said i'll see you guys on the flip side all right we are back 
probably been like, I don't know, two and a half weeks. I just got the wife with me this time. My awesome badass wife. And kids are in school. So we decided to run out and see if we can't get back to the spot and see if anything's popping. Um, had a buddy out here like about a week ago and they took home a nice little basket. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna find something. We're already seeing some mushroom life. I'm not actually sure what these ones are called. Maybe uh, I'll put it on the bottom of the screen right here. But yeah, that's just showing us that the ground moisture is a lot better than it was. You know, we've had a little bit more rain than we did last time. We were just here too early, that's all. So we're just gonna hike through the woods here. See what we can't find. Found our, our first chanterelle. It's looking kind of mushy. Like I said, we had that rain uh, recently, like a couple days ago, but we're hoping. There's some fresh little uh, little ones poking up. Little buttons, that's what they call them. They're so much better for eating. You can put them in so much more foods. The bigger ones, you know, you gotta chop them all up and the little buttons, you can throw them right in. So they make for better cooking. This thing is crazy. Let's see if the camera will do this one justice. Wow, that's a wild mushroom, babe. That is a wild mushroom. It looks super wet below. I can't, I don't, they could be trumpets. Super cool. Since I don't know what it is fully, I'm gonna leave it there. But just super cool, super cool mushroom. Wow, that's a wild one. This nice set of woods we're in right now. Um, it's definitely a replant. But uh, we haven't seen it yet, but there's a herd of elk that moves through here. Um, cause I mean, clearly there's just trails, footprints. Look at the size of that footprint. But we, we have to, we have to get up on them, but we're kind of noisy when we walk through. So maybe if we're quiet, chill found another bigger chanterelle. You know, we're on, like I said, we're on the hunt for the smaller ones. We'll leave those there. I think it'll be soggy and toast by tonight. Tonight's supposed to be, tonight's supposed to dump, dump rain. So we're trying to get out here. See another one? Trying to get out here and get a nice little basket before they get, oh, yep. Looks like she's on one right here. Another another decent sized one, not a button yet. It's not too big though. That's not a bad one. Go ahead and cut her up. It's not too big. Nice. Look at, that. Look at that frilly bottom. Turn the thing back over. I just love their lines. Cool. This is a better size right here, really. That can almost, you can probably split it in half and throw it in a spaghetti or something. Nice. So there's a big controversy. You want to take this one? There's a big controversy whether you should lop the bottoms like we're doing or not. And the way we see it is, it's kind of up to your own discretion. It's kind of been said that uh, it doesn't really matter. So it's your own choice. We like to cut them. Some people don't. It's a really nice one. They smell good right now. Later it's in the <laughs> yeah, later in the season they get more more scent on them. But nice, nice find. She actually found another one over here, but I think we're gonna leave that one. Looks a little wetter. Another one right here. Looks like two maybe, but I'm feeling kind of squishy. Just uncover them a little bit. Just a really cool mushroom. Oh, look at a little, little snail shell down there. Probably eating that mushroom. Anyway, we're gonna leave that one there. Yeah, look at that cool double. They're connected. She just cut them loose pretty much, but that one needs a little cleaned up. They're not bad. There's another one in here that looks pretty good too. That's As cool. you can see, Chelsea's got this really nice knife that has a brush on the back of it, so you can clean the mushrooms up as you go. Easy score on the internet. Tons of different brands, but it's really nice. A really cool shaped one right here. Nice 
nice, nice little chanterelle. So uh, we're not gonna we're not gonna take this one, but I just wanted to kind of show it off. It's got some really really cool frills on it, little pockets. Wow, it actually it's two of them. They're right next to each other, all frilled out. So you know they're fresh when they haven't even came out of the ground yet but they're always the dirtiest <laughs> that's a good one there it's not too big. nah it's perfect it's like perfect all right i'm gonna let you brush it off and chop her out she needs a little little brush love it's not even mushy because it wasn't exposed to exactly. the rain exactly it's a freshie that came out probably last night wrong angle there you go yeah. Um, so we're finding a lot right in the pineals, which is uh, really makes it really easy because the pineals are brown and they're orange. But a lot of times you'll find them just kind of growing in the thick. Oops. Find them growing in the thicker stuff. There's that one there too. Oh, she spotted that one. There's a bunch right over here. There's, There's a couple in here. Yeah, look at how they grow in the sticks. You know, there's a pile of sticks and they're just kind of growing around them. So we're gonna clean them out. They all look pretty fresh. I'm gonna move some sticks slowly. Oh yeah, look at this crazy one. This is a wild one here. It's a big one. All right, there's two monsters. They look like smaller. No, there's a couple back here, I guess. Wow. This is incredible, actually. They don't usually grow that many together. Look at the size of this one. All right, huh? Oh. Move some sticks out of the way. So. This is two right here next to each other, and then this big one underneath here. So there's three. I'm gonna try to get this stick up without hurting it. Yeah, look at the size of that thing. So normally you don't find them right next to each other. I mean, you do, but not as much. But having three monsters right next to each other, we're not gonna take these there. They're too big for our liking and really dirty, but that is cool. Awesome find. This one over here looks kind of soggy. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't take that one anyway. But this one, it's really cool. It does not look as soggy. It's bigger than we're after. Unless we're... Why is it too big? Not too big, huh? Should we take it? Sure. We can get rid of some to friends and family. Boom. Oh, All that look jelly. Those look at that. It's... It's actually multiples on it. That is really, really cool. I'll let Chelly clean it out a little bit, but man, they are cool. That is really cool. I've never seen like it's like a halo. It's got a halo. It's a really nice mushroom. Some white ones right there. 
there. All right, guys, I think we found the amount we really wanted. You know, we got something for our fans, our family, ourselves. We got a nice little, little bundle. You know, we don't need too many, but it was definitely a better day than it was the last time we came out. But I think after this next rain, it's really gonna pop off and they'll just be everywhere. But for now, I think we got some really, really nice looking mushrooms and we had a blast, right? Yeah. Yeah, so if you're new here, check it out. We got fishing, we got food, we got foraging, we got it all. So click that subscribe, hit that like button and stay tuned for more guys.